And what is up my magic miscreants, Risen Dragon here with yet another fun deck tech for you and today we're looking at Mono Black and we always tend to look at Mono Black in its various iterations and quite frankly it's one of my favorite archetypes I, I thoroughly enjoy uh, running Mono Black. So basically with this deck we just want to sacrifice stuff and we want to see where that goes so let's dig into this we are going to look at this in kind of backwards we're going to start with this card right here blood letter of aklazots if you don't know what this one does already then ugh. <laughs> we're going to be doing another deck on this bad larry right here probably either tomorrow or tuesday or one of those days who knows but if an opponent would lose life during your turn they lose twice that much life instead so yeah, it's a pretty boss card, especially when you consider that we're running a bunch of different things. Which we're going to get into now. Two cut downs, destroy target creature with total power and toughness, five or less. We all kind of know what that does. Greedy Freebooter, one of my... Uh, I I an interesting card. Not, not, not one of my favorite one drops, but basically, when it dies, scry one and create a treasure token. So, we can ramp into stuff with this. Using Fanatical Offering. As an additional cost to cast the spell, sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Draw two cards and create a map token. So we can, we can do some exploring with that. We're running two Go for the Throats, three Children's Edicts, Souls of the Lost. We're running three of those. As an additional cost to the spell, discard a card or sacrifice a permanent. And it has Fathomless Descent. Souls of the Lost's power is equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard and its toughness is equal to that number plus one so if we can fill up our graveyard with a bunch of stuff this is going to be a fun card to run we're running three tenacious underdogs and this can come back and we can sacrifice it using its blitz, blitz cost and paying two life and this is important because we're going to see what this does later on uh when we reach uh this the last card in this column here we're running three tithing blades and this is an interesting card because when it enters the battlefield each opponent sacrifices a creature. Then we craft, so we can exile a creature uh, we control or a creature card from your graveyard, and we exile it, return it transformed under its owner's control, craft only as a sorcery, and it becomes Consuming Sepulchre. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. So, again, runs very well with this right here. We're also running three Vran Executioner Thanes. Whenever one or more other creatures you control would die, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. This ability only triggers once each turn. Okay. Now, we're running two Fell Stingers, and I might put a few more in, but we're running two. It has Death Touch and it has Exploit, which means when it enters the battlefield, we can sacrifice a creature. See the theme here? All right. So... When Fell Player exploits a creature, target player draws two cards and loses two life. So we have Fell Stinger on the board. We have two of our Shieldreds, because whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. And we have this, and we have this. We can pull off all sorts of janky, synergistic combo type stuff. And Lord Skewer... Let's skitter Sewer King, I should say. Whenever another rat enters the battlefield under your control, exile up to one target card from an opponent's graveyard, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one black rat. Creature token with this creature can't block. So we can exile our opponent's graveyards and uh, all that sort of thing. So fun stuff. Now I do want to say the land base, we're running two Murexes, two Mishra's Founders. We're also running two Demolition Fields because Cave of... Cavern of Souls is a thing. Man, that card is absolutely gosh darn annoying. Sideboard, running two more cut downs, two more go for the throats. We need some uh, mass removal with, with Path of Peril. Uh, two Dreams of Steel and Oil, three Duresses. And because enchantments are a thing, gotta have debt to the Kami. So this is the deck. I call it Sack Black. It's got a sacrificial sort of theme to it. it, it, it there's a lot of fun stuff with this. So uh, if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a subscribe, watch the rest of the video, and for my videos, if you are new to my channel, we do a best of one, and then we do a best of three, so you can see how the deck functions in either one of those environments. So without further ado, let's get to the Sack Black Games. We're against Damn Damn Death War for our best of one matchup. We go first. 
So this is interesting. We finally drew into some removal. I say finally because I've... The, the, the first two times I tried shooting this, we came up against uh, like a Grixis build, and then we just came up against dinosaurs, and it was not fun. Not fun at all. Tenacious Underdog. Okay. Can you lay down arms for me? Or ossify me? Or else Beth smite me? Yeah, okay. That's fine. So it's kind of control. Alright. Uh, you know what? We are... I think we're just gonna draw a card. Because I want to try to find some land here. And of course, I keep a two-land hand and that's what happens. Ah, uh, fun. Well, guess what? That's not gonna fly. It doesn't matter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Not just the one. I can't target, but Sarah Paragon. You will die too. I, I think now we just try to race them. I think that's really the only way that we can duke this out. Just gotta race. If you have a faithful absence, please show me. Or I get lost or something. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Works for me. Elish Norn. Yeah, you're fun. Cool, you don't have another thing? Great. Sack it. Thanks. Uh, that bothers me a little bit, but, um... I think we do this. I think we do this. Uh, let's sack a permanent. As much as I hate to, to as much as I hate to give that away, I, I, I do think I have to do that. Kill it. I mean, it makes that guy even that much bigger. But, alright, fine. Whatever. I'll take a shieldred. Now, you've probably got some sort of trick. Elspeth Smite, I'm guessing. Nope. Okay. How fun are you? And I'm guessing you also... No, no, no. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go with this. We'll discard a card. I think Fanatical Offering can go. No. I'm leaving that as such. Because if they're playing all this fancy schmancy master removal stuff then I'm not gonna do that. I will draw a card. Cool. Mm-hmm. I think I just do this. Probably gonna Elspeth smite me or destroy attacking creature. Another fateful absence. You had all of them.
You didn't have all of them, but you had quite a few now, didn't you? Splendant Angel. Okay, cool. Either way, it dies. Okay. They lose some life. Draw a card. Cool. Sarah Paragon. Oh, yeah. And all that's coming back now, isn't it? All of that is coming back. Great. Now, of course, I draw into all my stuff. Not gonna do that at the moment. Yeah, we're just gonna discard a card because that is just. No attacks. like mono white angels like is that what I'm looking at here huh okay yep that's a problem still gain lifelink out of this And you'll pump that up. Yep. You'll get a... This could get interesting. Watch me do this. I win. To the next game. I can't believe I pulled that one off. Oh my gosh. We are against Ghostly Glow for our best of three matchup. We are on the play. That is a pretty decent keep because we can just do the freebooter and or the go for the throat. Ghostly Glow, what are we? Oh, that's interesting. Could we be, could we be against a zombie build? I don't know. We shall see. All right, well. Nope, we're against Domain. More than likely. Mm-hmm. Or are we just against straight up Esper? Die. That's an interesting card. I haven't seen that one yet. It's been a while since I've seen that one, so we could be against a, a build of that kind. I'll probably take out my Vron. That's okay. Yeah, bo oh, borrow time. Hmm. Okay, cool. Oh, things are about to get messy. Maybe. We'll see. We shall see. Depopulate? You're gonna have to. Hallowed Haunting. That may not do you much. You're losing a ton of life. <laughs> Another Hallowed Haunting. 
Yeah, well, you're about to die. Big time. So, no, I'm just gonna do this. Sack that. Boom. I probably shouldn't be messing with this guy, but... Hmm. Fun. Oh, wait. Whoops. Oh, well. I'm so used to clicking that one that... Yeah, it's all good. I still get sacked, and you're just gonna die anyway, so... Boom. Alright, cool. Let's go to the next one. Go two and two with this build, at least. Oh, nuts! I should have put in debt to the Kami. Dang nabbit. Oh, well. Oh, well. I probably should have taken those out. Um, yeah. It's all good. No. So, as you saw with the best of one, this deck can just turn. Just all of a sudden, you could be facing an incredible, insurmountable odds, and they just misstep one time, and fail to take something into consideration. Like, hey, a fell stinger, you can put that effect on your opponent and you sack it. And, oh, gosh, just... You saw what it did. Woo -hoo! That was fun. That was one of those moments I might see if I can get that into, like, a, a weekly magic... best magic clips or something like that. But who knows? Off we go. Second. Ghostly Glow's avatar kind of looks like the lead singer of Rammstein. Just thought of that. <laughs> it's my cats decide they want to fight with one another. Got a lot of interesting decks coming your way. This one's good, but I just... No. This one's better. Freebooter into the... Nauseous underdog. At its core, this deck is pretty much just an aggro deck. Dorothea. Yeah, sure. Dorothea, Dorothea. Do I hate wasting a Shieldred's Edict on that? Yeah, but I don't want to deal with a 4 4 blocker on turn 2. So, I don't care if it goes away. Oh, Lantern Bear. How fun. Uh, <laughs> Let's do this. If you block, you're going to lose two life anyways, and I'm going to get a treasure token out of it. I've seen this deck. I think we've tried playing this deck before. I think we've tried a few times. Where you, you just you bring stuff back, it's got the Disturb. So... Yeah, of course, you have borrowed time. No. Uh, that's par for the course right there. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, well, we'll see what happens here. I mean, do you really want to waste borrowed time on a Tenacious Underdog? I don't know. Tilda's interesting, though. Spirits and or enchantments. Okay, it's a spirit build. Got it. Alright. Cool. Your life just got a whole lot more miserable there, kiddo. Yep, you're going to gain some, but you're going to lose a whole lot. And maybe not as much as I thought, but that's okay. Skatilda, what does that do? Lifelink, protection from vampires. Oh, that's not fun. Because that is a vampire. <laughs> oh, this is going to get fun. I hope I get into a mass removal of some sort. Yeah, you'll gain life, but you're about to lose a whole heck of a lot. Let's go to the postmortem. So 
So is anyone going to take any bets as to how long it's going to take for this card to get banned? Dead serious. I mean, yeah, it dies to removal, it dies to exile, but oh my good gosh, if I see this hit the board, I'm throwing everything I can at it because oh my gosh, yeah, this deck, you saw what it could do in that, that, that best of one, you saw what it did in the best of three. Man, you get one of these on the board and a few of your big creatures out there, That it, their, their game's just done. They're just done. This is a really... Is it reliable? No, but at Bronze, that's what we do. We, 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 we play decks like this. Very little to no risk at all for us as far as losing stuff. We just have fun when we're in Bronze. So, if you like what you saw... With this sack black build, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and as always, my magic miscreants, may you always be on the play, and may all your spells hit the board. Risen Dragon is out. Enjoy what's left of your Sunday.